How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today we're going to be doing hidden features of the new Fire 7 tablet. And this is going to be the 7 inch. And we're just going to show you some of the really cool hidden features that um, it can do and some stuff that's definitely going to make using the tablet a lot funner. So let's jump into the first one, uh, which is the ability to be able to change the color of the keyboard. Now out of the box, you'll notice that your keyboard is actually going to be black, but I've changed it to white. And the way you do that is just by swiping down from the top, going to settings, and then we're going to go down to keyboard and language. And then from there, we want to go to appearance. So we go first to fire basic keyboard, and then we go to appearance and layout. And right here under theme, we have an option to do a light or a dark. And again, it starts out dark, but the way you switch it to light is just by doing this, and then you can kind of change it up, customizing your Kindle. So your Fire, excuse me, Fire 7 tablet. All right, our next hidden feature is going to come also in the settings menu, and this is the ability to change text to change the text to speech voice. And where you're going to really see the difference in this is um, if you're reading a book, you have an option to actually switch to a text to speech mode and have the the book read to you or the the tablet will read the book to you you can change the language of the person of the the voice that reads the book to you so uh just to show you uh so again swipe down settings we're already there so we're just going to stay here and from there we're going to go to device options actually excuse me you're going to go to keyboard so back to keyboard and language and then we're going to go to text to speech and first go to default voices and these are the two that are programmed actually it's Sally and then it's Naja and if we go back you go to download additional voices and you have a lot of different options Australian accent English accent French uh, you can even have it read to you in different languages and simply just by going through here you can pick and then really customize it to what you like better so Really cool hidden feature, definitely, you know, you may like a, a woman's voice versus a guy's voice or even an accent, and that's going to be, you know, just another fun little cool thing. So our third hidden feature is going to be what's called, um, it's auto turn off for the Wi-Fi, and this is going to vastly, vastly save your battery. Guys, let me just give you a quick note. Uh, I charged this tablet up and unplugged it this morning, okay? And I literally came back to shoot this video at night and the tablet was on 100%. That never ever happens. Usually you put your tablet down and you come back and it's like drained 30%. You haven't even touched it. Um, and that's part of the reason for that is this new feature, which basically will conserve your battery power because it turns off Wi-Fi when you haven't used it for an extended period of time. So it's, we're gonna stay in the settings and we're gonna go down to power and the feature is called Smart Suspend. You've got two options here. You can set a straight automatic, and the description says, increase standby battery life by automatically turning off wireless connectivity when you aren't using your fire. So that's one option, that's one I have turned on. The other option is, is Schedule Smart Suspend. Increase standby battery life by turning off wireless connectivity during scheduled times. For example, if you know you always go to bed at 10, you can have it automatically shut off from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. So while you're not using it, the tablet is not burning any battery searching for a Wi-Fi signal or being on Wi-Fi, and therefore it will stretch the battery a lot longer. So I love this feature. I wish this was on all my devices because I would leave Wi-Fi on more often, but I can't because... You know, if you leave it on all day, it just drains the battery as it's constantly searching for that signal. So great hidden feature. Definitely take advantage of that. Our fourth hidden feature is going to be um, the ability to get uh, emojis or emoticons on the keyboard. And if we go home and back to sound why I went home because everything is in the settings anyway. But we're going to go settings and we're going to go down to keyboard and language again. And... Here, pardon me, referring to the notes, bam. So we're gonna go to keyboard settings to find the exact area. Let's see, fire basic keyboard. And then 
Let's see, languages. Now this is this is the part that's a little tricky because mine is already switched to this particular keyboard. Yours will not have the emoji icon out of the box. You'll have to change it to this. And so the way yours is gonna come is when you go to this menu, it's just gonna say use system language. And what you're gonna have to do is first uncheck that so that goes from orange to gray. And then once you get into here, you're gonna turn on English and turn on US uh, QWERTY, QWERTYs. And when you turn on those two, uh, it will give you the emoji icon right in the bottom right corner. So really fun. I love it just because it's really cool being able to, um, let's see, if we switch between those are both the same. It's cool to have this option, especially when you're you know, going on Facebook or Instagram and it's just nice to have it as a shortcut on the keyboard. So that's how you turn on that feature. Um, and the next thing, so this is number five for hidden features. This is gonna be the ability to change the autocorrect behavior. Now we're gonna swipe down on the top, go back to our settings. We're gonna to go to keyboard and language, which is under personal. Um, and then from there, we're gonna to go to text, our first fire basic keyboard, and then text correction. Now this is something I encourage you to do immediately as soon as you get your tablet because this can be a really irritating thing when you're trying to type something and the keyboard is constantly correcting the words you're typing because it's trying to predict what you're trying to say. And so in this section, this is where you can adjust how it makes those corrections. In fact, there's a really cool option they have. So if we go to auto correction, you have an option to turn it off altogether. You can set it on modest, aggressive, or very aggressive. And so I've set it on modest and it doesn't really interfere too much when I type, but you might say, nope, I don't want it to do any type of auto correcting. I just want to type what I want to type and I'll fix it. You can turn it off, but the modest one, it, it doesn't interfere a lot with your typing. And if you're not a great speller, then you may want to go to the more aggressive settings where you type the word how you think it's spelled and it automatically will fix it for you. But this is gonna just cut down on the irritation of, oh, you know, um, you know, you keep trying to type the same word and it won't let you because it knows it's not spelled right or whatever. So really cool hidden feature. Definitely wanted to point that out because now you don't have to turn it all the way off. You can just set it to a modest setting and then it doesn't interfere as much, so. All right, number six is a really cool feature and this has been on previous Kindle models. Um, which is called find your tablet. So we're gonna go to settings. And from there, we're gonna go to device options. And then we're gonna make sure we turn on find your tablet and that will uh, basically give the ability to find your tablet, kind of like a, a GPS thing. Uh, if it's lost, maybe you left it somewhere. Um, if it's on Wi-Fi, this is a cool way to recover where your tablet is so you don't uh, lose it. And the last thing is gonna be wallpaper. So I'm just gonna go back a step. And for this option, we're gonna to go to display, which is right here. And then we're gonna to go to wallpaper. And so it comes with a couple of really cool options. So we've got some fun different designs in here. Now aside from this, you can also pick from a picture that you've taken just by tapping pick image, and this will take you to your gallery of your own personal photos. So these are like pictures I've either taken or I've screenshotted from online. Now what you can also do is, let's go home, swipe down and go to your camera. And then in here, we can actually take a picture first. So maybe you wanna take a picture of something specific, take the picture, and then go here to the review. And once the picture comes up, if you go to the upper right corner, click on these three dots, go to wallpaper, and it will give you the ability to uh, save it as a wallpaper. So um, that's a really cool thing. Uh, again, gotta love it. Really simple, take your own picture, make it you and family or you know, take a picture of something you like and then make that your wallpaper. So really cool, another kind of hidden feature. 
Now there's a few more, I'm gonna kind of couple these all together because these kind of require a lot of explanation and I just want to keep it simple for the sake of the video. If you notice up here, upper right corner, click on the menu, which is the three dots right here, you actually have an, a print option. So guess what, you can actually print a photo from the tablet. So that's a really cool thing that normally isn't displayed. Um, you also have this little pen right here which is basically a built-in editor. So this will actually allow you to make some really cool edits to your photos. So I would probably say this is number nine of the hidden features. So um, I can do enhancements, there are effects, there's frames, there's stickers, um, all kind of fun stuff to really maximize your pictures. There's a crop tool, brightness, like this is, this is a full editor here, even being able to add text as well. So this is definitely something you didn't see on previous models of the Fire tablets. And really cool just being able to adjust it to how you want it. So really cool. I probably chose the worst picture to demo this <laughs> feature. But nonetheless, really nice to be able to edit your photos and, you know, do all kind of cool stuff and then be able to, uh, you know, share them right after. So let's go ahead and close that. And there's one last feature I want to show you before we finish up here. And we want to make sure your Wi-Fi is on because that will, it's the best way to do this. So turn on Wi-Fi. And this last feature is, again, nothing new. It's actually kind of a limitation of this tablet that it's something you were able to do a lot more with on previous models, but nonetheless, it's still here on the base model. And what it is is the ability to mirror your Kindle Fire or your, excuse me, your Fire 7 tablet to a TV. So if you have a Fire Stick or Fire TV, you could mirror a video from your tablet to the TV. So just to give an example, I'm gonna to go to Amazon Video here. That's why you need Wi-Fi. Now, obviously, you, you would need to have uh, their prime subscription and if you didn't have it you could still purchase individual movies and Just watch that one particular movie. So if I go to prime, let's just Tap on uh, these all suck though And we'll do avatar I don't know. I would like to show something good if I can these all seem kind of weird Let's just pick anything I guess it doesn't matter Okay, so serendipity. So I pick a movie, the movie pulls down. And so check this out. So you have this option down here, which says watch on Fire TV. And if I hit this green uh, arrow here, I can choose from whatever device you have. So I have a Fire Stick and I have a Fire TV. Um, but you also see other devices, so Sony device. So you can mirror this to like, like a smart TV or Fire Stick or Fire Stick TV. And you can play it basically right from your tablet. So really cool, kind of like use your tablet as the remote and then find the video you want to play and then mirror it right from your tablet. So um, this is number 10 in terms of hidden features. And although I wish you could do more, I wish you could totally mirror your whole tablet to the TV. It's still nice to be able to mirror uh, a movie because that's probably like people use this for a lot of entertainment purposes so anyway i hope you guys found this helpful make sure you like favorite and share the video if you do find it helpful thanks for watching take care and have a good one